AG Chloe and Zoe Productions is proud to introduce Sweet Nokia Streets 2014 Spring Collection. Hey everybody! So, yes, our Etsy shop will be reopening March 15th at noon. Um, how long have you had an Etsy shop? Chloe has had an Etsy shop since around July 2013, but we haven't exactly been active on it. What's going to be in the new Etsy shop? That's what this video is for. Hey everyone, Chloe here. I want to apologize first of all for my absence. I have been gone for over a month and I just want to apologize. I have been spending the time that I usually spend filming, working on videos, and doing YouTube related stuff for sewing because I have been working really hard right now on my Etsy release and it's I really like the way it's turned out. So my Etsy release is scheduled for Saturday, March 15th, and I'm going to try to have everything up at around noon. And this video is basically going to be showcasing some outfits that my I've created um, with the items in my shop. And I'm also going to show you a few other separate pieces. This isn't everything. I have a couple more surprises and stuff that I didn't show you guys, but this is a large majority of it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and yeah. Molly's look. Molly is wearing a tank top that has an infinity sign and it says young, um, so it's, uh, it's supposed to be like forever young. It was inspired by shirts seen in Forever 21 and other stores like that. Her shorts are made out of real denim. They have a floral panel on one side and then they have lace trim on the bottom. And that's Molly's look. Caroline's look is truly inspired by the book Divergent. This tank top has the dauntless symbol right on the front, and it has a little bit of neck stitch detailing. And then at the bottom, it says part of the dauntless manifesto, which was in the book. And I'll read it to you if you don't, if you can't see it. it says we believe in ordinary acts of bravery, in the courage that drives one person to stand up for another. That's Caroline's outfit. Lindsay's outfit. Lindsay's look features a purple plaid, slightly oversized cardigan, and a yin-yang t-shirt, which is hand-drawn. Abigail's outfit. Abigail is wearing a hand-drawn t-shirt that says good vibes only, which is encircled with a little flower crown. It also has stitch detailing at the neckline. She's also wearing a bright orange knit skater skirt. Sage's look. Sage is wearing a red floral headscarf and a high-low crop top that says stay weird on it. Here's a better look at the high-lowness. She is also wearing a pair of polka-dotted high-waisted shorts that have a lace panel. A couple of other pieces. We will also be selling this crop top that has a lace backing. Some skirts, including more skater skirts. Like I said earlier, the real inspiration for this line was a couple of hand-drawn t-shirts. So we'll be having lots of those. These are just a couple, but here they are. This one is a donut t-shirt that says, I donut really care. There's a Frozen t-shirt that says the very famous line by Olaf, some people are worth melting for. There's a Sherlock Holmes t-shirt that says elementary, my dear Watson. And then this is an off-the-shoulder t-shirt that says is it Friday yet. There are also a couple of other tank tops, like this one is a collared blouse. There also will be headband packages, like Sage's red one and this blue one. They are both own headscarf so the knots in them are sewn in so these can't come off and they're really easy to fit over your doll's head like I did with Sage's I just put it over her bun but you can also put it over her whole head and then move it up like a real headscarf these are going to be sold in packs of two for around six dollars because this is a behind the scenes video I thought I should share this shirt which was one of the first ones I made for the line. It's not going to be sold because it was the first one I made and it was the inspiration. Um, after I made this one I just started making the others and that that's how the line came to be. 
This one is different from the other shirts because this was made with scrap fabric and in that case it was a pillowcase actually. So it's made from a pillowcase and the words on it are actually from crowns. But this is the inspiration from the line and after I made this shirt I made all the others so without it I wouldn't have the line that I have now. So I really hope you guys go check out my Etsy release. Um, once again, it's going to be Saturday, March 15th, and everything will be up at around noon. Thank y'all for still supporting me while I've been gone, and please, please, please go check out the Etsy shop release. It's going to be lots of fun.